All right, we are looking at a model of the water cycle. It's not a perfect representation, but we should be able to see the main things that happen. So what starts the water cycle? Uh, it has to have heat. I have heat from a lamp, but where does the heat actually come from in the real world? Heat from the sun, yes, that's it. So we have heat from the sun hitting the ocean here and causing the liquid to change to a gas and we call that evaporation. Yes, so it's changing from liquid to gas. Now, when it evaporates, uh, notice that my water is blue, okay? But if I look at the top here, can you zoom in and see this top? Um, after it evaporates, it goes up and it starts to cool and forms a cloud. Now, a cloud is literally drops of water and you can see the drops of water all over here. But note that the blue from the ocean is not in the cloud. When water evaporates from the ocean, the salt doesn't come with it. Salt stays in the ocean. The water goes up. It does the three C's. It cools, makes a cloud, which we call condensation. Now, for it to cool, I had to have a way to model that. So right here, I have ice that is causing it to cool to make the model create this condensation. So we have our cloud form. The wind begins to blow. It blows the cloud over the land. And as it builds up, it will eventually rain. So if you lift this up, we can see little drops of water falling. When that rain hits, it is going to begin to flow downhill and back to the ocean. We call that runoff. Yes, it runs or flows downhill and goes back to the ocean but some of that water goes underground. And what do we call the water that is stored underground? If you said aquifer, you're right. So you have the aquifer, which is stored underground. The rest of it is stored back in the oceans or ponds where it accumulates, waiting to be evaporated again. Speaking of evaporation, there's one more kind. These plants will also evaporate or release uh, liquid and change it to a gas. When it happens from a plant, we don't call it evaporation, we call it transpiration, yes. So the water cycle continues over and over and over again because it is a cycle.